Simmons gets the score. Just joining us, you see 32 in black. That is freshman Ronnie Johnson. Normally wears jersey number three. Left it at home. Came off the bench today. Long, pass, or long shot by Brandt. Turns into a pass. Seven and a half minutes to go. Starks with a pull up. Here comes Purdue, another chance to get close. They're down seven points. This is where you start recognizing time and score. You got to make these possessions count. No quick shots. Seems like Hammonds is feeling it right now and even shows a little turnaround over the senior. Yeah, that was a modified jump shot slash jump hook. But whatever works. Only the fourth game of his career. And having so far a career night, 11 points in the second half for A.J. Hammonds. Yeah, Brant's trying to push Hammonds deeper in the paint, and he can't. That was a flop. That was a flop. But the call goes against Oregon State. Eric Moreland's going to pick up his second foul. 6.42 to go. We'll see if Purdue can get closer. Down five points. Timeout at the Garden. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is presented by NBA 2K13 from 2K Sports. Enter the new dynasty in stores now. Rated everyone. And in part by Chevrolet and their award-winning cars, trucks, and crossovers. Welcome to Chevy's year-end event. So the 5.3 liter V8 Silverado can tow up to 9,600 pounds. 315 horsepower. What's that in reindeer power? <laughs> <laughs> Chevy's giving more. This holiday season, trade up to get the 2012 Chevy Silverado All-Star Edition for 0% APR financing for 60 months plus $2,000 cash allowance. Or get a total value of $9,000. It's that time of year again. Time for City Price Rewind. Because your daughter really wants that pink castle thing. And you really don't want to pay more than you have to. Only City Price Rewind automatically searches for the lowest price. And if it finds one, you get refunded the difference. Just use your City Card and register your purchase online. Have a super sparkly day. Okay. Now all you need is a magic carriage. City Price Rewind. Buy now, save later. Monday, it's a Hoops Twin Bill on ESPNU. As the Aggies clash with the Billikins before the Longhorns take on the Silver Swords. Texas A&M, St. Louis, and Texas Chaminade. Monday on ESPNU. Tomorrow on ESPNU. E.J. Manuel leads the 10th-ranked Seminoles towards an ACC championship when they meet the Terps. Then it's a must-win game for both the Yellow Jackets and the Blue Devils. The doubleheader kicks off at noon tomorrow on ESPNU. I'm Matt Chick. Coming up after this game, our ESPNU signing day special. Coach Calipari has the number one rated recruiting class. Can he hold on to it? We will have that. And Mark Gottfried will join us. His NC State Wolfpack taking on UMass and Puerto Rico. They're up 73 to 52. Now back to Mark and Len in New York. All right, thanks a lot. And right here, uh, Purdue trying to avoid a one and three start to the season. They have it down to a five point deficit with 642 to go. And Matt Painter has been relying on A.J. Hammonds, a seven foot freshman, 11 of his 15 points coming in this second half. And his minutes will continue as he's on the floor right now off the ninth Oregon State turnover of the half and now 16 in the game. Remember, the Beavers had 20 yesterday. Ronnie Johnson, freshman point guard from Indianapolis at the controls against Charlie Martin. Not quite getting close to 10, little runner. Jerome Johnson falls off. Rebound to Morris Walker. Langston Morris Walker, freshman getting some time at a key place and that was another thing in these back-to-backs that both coaches talked about was the need to get some of their young players some important minutes yeah yesterday you pull out all the stops to try to get a win but today recognize you're in a consolation situation you want to win 
but it's still about player development. Nice reverse move by Angus Brand on the basket. Oregon State goes back up seven. Honey Johnson underneath. Off the kick out. Tyrone Johnson with a triple. I was just about to question why A.J. Hammond's two feet from the basket at seven <laughs> feet tall would kick it back outside, but I guess I have no argument right now. Well, percentage-wise, the way Purdue has shot it today, and now Brandt goes down holding his knee. Oh, this, this is not a good scene. He seems to be in severe pain. Oh, man. Greg Robinson, you could see, extremely concerned. I'd love to see the replay if it was non-contact. Angus Brandt, 6'10", senior from Sydney, Australia. The most fr frightening part about that is the suddenness in which he went down. As you can see, Angus Brand in considerable pain. Joe Burton's coming over. Brandon had his first career double double yesterday, such an important part. Team and right now, all concerns just for Brandt and his leg as they try to straighten it out. You don't want to speculate. Well, let's take a look. Ooh. Oh, yeah, no, non contact. Just, yeah, he just stepped the wrong way and. <laughs> We're going to check back in with Grant as they continue to attend to him and some of the medical staff here at the Garden come in as well. We'll take a time out here in New York. Welcome to Chevy's year-end event. So the 5.3-liter V8 Silverado can tow up to 9,600 pounds. 315 horsepower. What's that in reindeer power? <laughs> Chevy's giving more. This holiday season, trade up to get the 2012 Chevy Silverado All-Star Edition for 0% APR financing for 60 months plus $2,000 cash allowance. Or get a total value of $9,000. Jimmy Johnson has hit the wall. Keselowski threads the needle as cars crash to the checkered flag. With chase tensions at their peak, Brad Keselowski, the brash, fearless challenger, tries to hold off the five-time champ. One race to determine the championship and earn a spot in history. The Ford EcoBoost 400 at Homestead, Miami, Sunday at 1.30 on ESPN. Angus Brandt, they had the stretcher out on the court. But Len, as you had pointed out, no one wants to go out that way. He's out with uh, no pressure on that right leg whatsoever. As it appeared that Knee gave way in a non-contact right before that timeout. Yeah, I've been there. You take a look right there, and particularly if your ankles are taped, what happens is whatever pressure that's applied there, the ankle holds steady, but it's your knee now that winds up given. We had seen Joe Burton come out, check out his friend, and Burton gets the steal there. But how difficult is that to see one of your guys go down and still be able to Keep momentum and play at a high level. Well, that's why you play the game. You know, you got to put it out of your mind, recognize there's nothing you can do about it. You can be a greater concern when you come in after the game. Langston Morris Walker, freshman from Berkeley. Oregon State really trying to take the air out of the ball right now. Got themselves in a little bit of trouble, but. Threw out a complete bailout oh, shot man. line drive that almost went down for Collier. Yeah, they were trying to shave some time off the clock. Never really executed it well to get a good shot, but it almost went in. Bail an offensive rebound and a whistle against Oregon State and Purdue only down four. Try to draw a little bit closer with 419 to go. I mean, Purdue is getting mightily out rebounded, but they are holding their own on the offensive glass. And Hale with a nice job. Of getting possession. I'm not so sure where the foul was on that. Getting back to your previous point about taking 
some of the air out sometimes that can work to your detriment when you yeah. take your, your foot off that gas pedal Roberto Nelson, Maud Starks back on the floor for Oregon State. You see Charlie Barton and Langston Morris Walker head back to the bench. Good idea by Craig Robinson. He couldn't wait any longer to put his starting backcourt back in the game. Hale's free throw makes it a one possession game with 419 to go. So had two games go down to the wire last night. This one may have the same fate with Villanova and Alabama. Then set to play in the championship game, 7.30 Eastern over on ESPN2. But regardless how this game turns out, I mean, it's an opportunity to provide some cheap uh, teaching lessons. You know, you don't like to lose, but both of these teams now have an opportunity to talk about it. Byrne had just come up with a loose ball, and Devon Collier ripped it out of his hands and put it in. 23 for Collier, two off his career high. Right, that's one of those things where Bird could have protected it. Possession now pointing towards Purdue. He would have protected it. He would have drawn Oregon State into coming down and tying him up. Boy, Johnson found a seam. Hammond gets fouled and puts it in. Well, first of all, Ronnie Johnson having all sorts of problems putting the ball in the basket. But A.J. Hammonds to the rescue. And he's been almost perfect from the field right now. Eight of nine. How about the big man, the freshman Hammonds on the third chance. Puts it in. Purdue trying to get a little bit closer. Time out. Change is uncomfortable. Change is unsettling. For those who strive to constantly improve, change is necessary. After creating the bike that redefined training, what did we do? We changed it. Introducing the new 2012 Proform Tour de France, the bike that changes training forever. Train like a pro on the official training bike of the Tour de France. Change altitude. With 20% incline, 20% decline, you'll be ready no matter what the road throws at you. Change perspective. Ride anywhere, even the Tour. Choose from 24 pre-mat courses or draw your own. Change gears with new one-touch handlebar shifting, adjustable saddle, and a new advanced power meter. You'll always know your exact out. The new 2012 Proform Tour de France. Now that you're ready to change the way you train, call or go online today to get the newly advanced Proform TDF with zero down plus free upgrade on rush shipping. Checking in. Your name, please. Michael Jordan. Oh. Michael Jordan, 8 o'clock? Oh. That's me. Oh. Oh. Oh, man. How you doing? Really? Let's go. Oregon State been held to 17 points so far in the second half. And number 20 at the bottom of your screen, big part of that 25 point second half as A.J. Hammonds has scored 13 points in the last 12.45 for Matt Painter. A lot of it right underneath the basket. The seven foot freshman, a chance to make this a two point game, and he does, completing a three point play. Well, the big fellas found. An area where he's very comfortable out on that low block. Not allowing anybody to push him off, and then he's gone to his, what has now become his signature shot, that right-handed jump hook. And a whistle underneath, and it looks like Donnie Hale off the ball getting hit with a foul. Coming up next, ESPNU signing day special right after we're done with this consolation game between Oregon State and Purdue.
John Calipari and Bill Self, Kentucky and Kansas will be guests on the show, so should be outstanding. And of course, John Calipari continues to get the blue chippers. You'll hear all about it coming up. Inbound into the backcourt. Oregon State's lead is down to two. They had a double-digit lead in this consolation game as we cross three minutes to play at the Garden. See if it's Devon Collier. Who they try to get going offensively. He's carried the Bronx native, the Beavers offense. Burton underneath, cut off. There's fake by the freshman. Morris Walker to Burton with six to shoot. They triple team Burton. Lost it off his leg out of bounds. Burton thought it was off a of bird, but it's going to go to Purdue down two. Trying to be a bit too nifty with the ball down low. Burton putting it on the floor among three defenders, which is a mistake. Right now, you've got to find a way to break through that triple team, get the ball back outside. Three guys on you. Somebody's free. At least that arithmetic should theory. work. Purdue with a chance to tie or take the lead. Pass inside for Hammond. Gets it back in his foul. That's going to go against Eric Moreland. That'll be his third with 2.17 to go. And Oregon State now 10 fouls, so we're looking at two shots here. And yeah, a double bonus is something Hammond should be able to take advantage of. But that pass by Donnie Hale just a few inches too far. If he gets it on target, Hammond's has got a drop step and a dunk. You see Hammonds has made his first two free throws. One more, and we will have a tied game with 2.17 to go. What a luxury, a big man with the ability to knock down free throws. There you see the Purdue free throw percentage. Though Hammonds has made all three of his, Purdue has struggled at the free throw line tonight for the first four plus games of their season. Hammonds hits both. You're right, good looking stroke for a seven footer. We got a brand new ball game with 2.14 to go. And the crowd getting into it. Many arriving for the Villanova Alabama game. Here's Collier spinning in the lane and contact. Getting bailed out on that move. I'm still trying to figure out how he gets that shot off. Take a look at him on the spin. Look at the black shirts that surround him. It's almost like they've covered everything up. Obviously, you saw the foul there. Jacob Jacob Lawson, Lawson, yeah, his fourth. So Collier to the free throw line, trying to untie the game with two minutes to go. Hale in Lawson with the four fouls sits down one point away from a career high for Bronx native Devon Collier there it is he scored 25 against Hofstra last year and now he's got 25 working against Purdue the patience of Purdue a few times this afternoon getting a good shot at the end of the shot clock jumper is short and it looked like they were trying to find Hammonds underneath but just didn't give it enough time to open up Anthony Johnson had a wide open shot how you could miss that far beyond me 115 to go two-point lead Beavers Stark's going to back off and reset the motion. Six to shoot. Wide open. Moreland. And the big man hits it from outside. That's his first field goal, isn't it? Seven points for Moreland. Had been 0 for 5. Correct you are, Len Elmore. Well, you see Starks obviously drawn defenders. He drew DJ Bird and gave Moreland just enough time to set that one up. Look at 21 Bird had to stop Starks and his man Moreland. 
And a reminder, you can tune in Sunday, 8.30 Eastern time over on ESPNU. You can catch the Charleston Classic Championship game. Colorado off its two-point win over Baylor today. They will get the winner of St. John's and Murray State. St. John's over on ESPN3, currently out in front in that game. That's coming up on Sunday on ESPN2, the championship from the Charleston Classic. But right here, Oregon State, five consecutive points. And now up to Matt Painter to see what he can draw up defensively. And we've got a couple of the officials over at the replay monitor. I can only guess if they're thinking two or three. We're told checking the clock. Going to put 58-6 on the clock, so a couple extra seconds. All right, Len, if you're Purdue, A.J. Hammonds had a big second half, although perimeter guys have been able to get some open looks, just not hit it down. Where are you going here? Got to go inside. I mean, you got to keep the floor spread, maybe go in the... A.J. Hammonds and then go inside out if Hammonds gets double. And it's got to be quick, too, because you got to leave yourself some time to foul. Unless you score. If you score, then it becomes pretty much a one possession game. Ooh, look at that screen. That, yo, man. Donnie Hale on that screen gets hit with his third personal foul. You got to give the guy a chance to change directions. He can't run right up on his back and make contact. Possession to Oregon State. Now you got to foul if I'm Purdue. You got to extend this game. Now two possessions with 54 seconds to go. That painter, you could hear him, you could see him on the far side setting up his defense. And right now they're gonna let the clock roll a little bit as Stark sprints into the front court. We're looking to try to trap you, get that one steal out. What are you doing? And Starks passes to Collier, a career high for Devon Collier. 27 points, 12 rebounds, both are career highs. I think you gotta extend the game, you gotta start there. Bird missing on the finger roll. And now the foul against Starks. But you're right, that was the decision that had to be made coming out of the last timeout. They went for the defensive end, couldn't get the trap, and Starks able to see through it. Yeah, I mean, I, I just think that if you're going to extend the game, you got to do it then. Give yourself an opportunity. You know, you pretty much cut in half your chance to to tie or go ahead by extending the game. And our Chevrolet player of the game, Devon Collier, back home in New York, has set career highs in points and rebounds and has keyed this now 8-0 Oregon State run. Purdue had tied the game at 56. And the Beavers have run off eight in a row to take the lead with 33.9 seconds to go. Purdue will push it down eight. Stay on top of guys. They're going to try for a quick two, but they can't even get into the paint. There you go. There's Hale with the stuff with 22.8. And Purdue calls timeout off that make. But you have to be uh, pleased if you're Craig Robinson with late game execution. We swing it to the other side, what Oregon State's been able to do here in the last minute. Yeah, particularly on that last double team. Where they found um, Devon Collier underneath the basket. You know, that was pretty good execution as they held the ball. It was Starks who held the ball with a great deal of poise and found this man. And that ultimately, I think, kind of sealed the deal. Now, the only thing I can think about with Matt Painter not uh, doing the uh, foul right away is that they were going to get two shots anyway, Oregon State, because they were in the double bonus. So why not give a chance to. Um, steal the ball and see if they score with two. You got to look there at uh, Villanova as the Wildcats and Alabama Crimson Tide will play for the championship in the 2K Sports Classic. We'll have that over on ESPN2 coming up at 7.30 Eastern. And ESPNU signing day special coming up as soon as we're done here of our third place game. 
at Madison Square Garden with 22.8 seconds to go. If Purdue doesn't come back, they're going to have a one and three start to this season. There's Devon Collier. 27 points, 12 rebounds for the Bronx Rays Junior from St. Anthony's High School. Well, Purdue takes the floor right now with uh, no timeouts remaining. 13 rebounds. I shortchanged Collier one. 27 and 13. And there's the quick whistle on the foul. Stops the clock at 21.9. Morgan State on its free throws today. He's made 14 of 20. Ten fouls on Purdue. Two shots for Roberto Nelson. Nelson, a guy who came into this season essentially replacing Jared Cunningham, literally replacing him in the lineup at that off guard position, missing on the first free throw. And see, I don't have faith in free throw shooting, particularly in college basketball. That's why if you're going to extend the game, you got to do it a lot earlier. Give yourself a chance. And this kind of proves it out right here, missing the front end here, despite being in the double bonus. One point out of that one is Langston Morris Walker comes in for Oregon State. Roberto Nelson will take a seat. 21 seconds to go. Seven point game. Time the enemy of the Boilermakers and stripped from behind is Ronnie Johnson. That should just about do it with 14 seconds left. They're going to take one more foul and Starks will head to the line. Anthony Johnson called for the foul. Well, it's already three possession ball game so you know Starks making these Starks making these free throws I mean at least make one. And there's the first one you just saw a look at the Purdue bench been a long time since they've opened a season one and three they're just a few seconds away from that. Going to head back to West Lafayette game in a few days. He splits the free throws to Starks. UNC Wilmington and then a road trip to Clemson on deck. Bird from about 30 feet missed. A little pushback won't go. Collier has his 14th rebound to end the game. And it is Oregon State with a 66 58 win over Purdue. The Beavers, the third place team. Coming up next, ESPNU signing day special. Tune to ESPN2 at 7 30 Eastern, our title game, Villanova and Alabama. For Len Elmore, I'm Mark Kestisher. Good night from Madison Square Garden. <laughs> it is the early signing period. And once